Hey, let's go to Jessica, Salt Lake City, first time caller. Jessica, you're on Heart of the Matter. Hi. Hi, Jessica, you're on the air. Can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? Yes, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. I just had a question for you. Mm hmm. So, you are Christian, correct? Yes. You believe in Christ and everything he taught? I try, yes. I try to learn and understand, yes. Good. We all, we all should. But I, I don't understand how you feel the need to bash other people's religions and to try to point out flaws in other people's religions, because if you look at all religion over time, everybody has had, you know, sin in their religion, and everybody has had error with their leaders, and, you know, no one is above that. But I believe that every religion... You know, no matter what it is, if, if it points you to divine help, if it points you to become a better person and to better your life, then what's wrong with it? You know, okay. all right, I got your point. So let's dialogue here. If, you're, if you, you made your point, now let me ask you a couple questions. Do you believe that Jesus is necessary to go to heaven? Do I believe that I need to believe in Jesus to go to heaven? Yes. No, I believe that I need to believe in God's laws. I need to believe in Jesus' laws. I need to live higher than what is in this world because if you look at the destruction and the... Okay, you don't need to give, preach about all the destruction. I'm just asking you a question. And so you don't... I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you need to live above the world in order to go to heaven. How can you live above the world? How, I mean, how do you do that? Well, you, it's the same way as, you know, if you see somebody doing something wrong, you have to you know, intervene, whether it's an old woman getting mugged or, you know, something bad that's what happening. About, a little forget about the old woman. What about your own sin? What do you do with that? My own sin? Yeah, what do you do with your own sin? Just every day I try to become a better person. It doesn't every matter. That's not the question. I've made many mistakes. I, I know you did. I don't ask about the good things you do. I want to know what you do with your sin. What do you do with the times that you've lied? What do you do with the times that you've screwed your neighbor over? What do you do the times when you lust? What do you do the times with all that? What do you do with that stuff if Jesus is not necessary? Well, Jesus is very necessary. Without him, I cannot be forgiven for my sins. But oh. if I ever do make a mistake, I rectify it and I change my ways. And the definition of insanity is to keep living the same way. Thank or you doing for that definition. Over listen, over again. listen the, the, let me, I want to understand. So you're saying Jesus is necessary in order to go to heaven after this life, or you're saying he's not? No, he is. The LDS religion believes that. Do you believe it? Yes, I believe it. Okay. So, in what way is Jesus necessary? Because he atoned for my sins. He sacrificed himself, and he taught us all higher laws that we need to live by. Okay, and what is the higher law he taught? Oh, this? Why are you asking me? You know this. What's the hi I'm asking you because you... believe the same thing. What's the higher law he taught? What? What's the higher law Jesus taught? Everything that he taught when he came down, when he sat and they had the meals and everything that he taught about being nice to people, not to commit adultery. I mean, he just branched off of what Moses taught, and he taught more. Okay, and so let me ask you something. Did he teach about going into temples and getting endowments and being married for eternity? No, he didn't say that, but he knew that when he taught things that more religions would come to pass and that, you know, it would, it would, you know, it would bring about more things. But where do you think that you're being Christ-like to, you know, bash other people's religion? Well, Jesus did it all the time, Jessica. No, he didn't. He okay, didn't. can I read something to you? This is, from, this is from his Bible, Matthew 23, and Jesus says, Woe to you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites. And then he goes on, he calls them liars, blind, fools. He calls them doing blind. corrupt things, though. If you go to Matthew and you read that chapter, they were doing corrupt things. That's why he says that. Oh, Mormonism yeah, doesn't... Wait, wait, wait. Doing no, corrupt. let's stay on it. Actually, so go to Barbara Walters' interview. No, wait, they, you're saying like Jesus... The church, wait, the you're Walters saying... Wait, in, you're saying Jesus... Wait, you're saying Jesus... Only did, church... Wait, they, wait, wait. You're saying Jesus uh, then did... Jesus did call people out on things if they were doing things wrong? That's when they were being corrupt. What okay. is the LDS religion doing that is corrupt that causes you... Oh! To, Bring about oh, I club. see. What is the LDS religion doing that's corrupt? So, right. okay, well, 
How about that they, uh, let's see, make people go to the temple, make them pay tithing in order to get there? We don't there? make anyone do that. We all do it of our own free will. No, you don't. Remember, listen, no, 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 listen. Okay. If they teach. If they, puts a gun to anyone's if head they, and makes them Of course they don't put a gun to anyone's head, but if well, they teach. Look at where people, our tithing money goes. Okay. It has the never, Pharisees, ever, ever hey, been the Pharisees in the wrong didn't place. put a gun to anyone's head. The Pharisees didn't hold a gun to anyone's head. Jesus is correct, correcting them. So what's your point? Because you don't make somebody. Our tithing goes to good use. Why we pay it? All prisons are stupid, and they find nothing wrong. What do you mean nothing wrong? We've spent 360 hour-long shows showing how off Mormonism is to the Bible, and you're sitting here tonight saying there is absolutely nothing wrong. Nothing. What about Mountain Meadows? Let's just go to something easy. What about your polygamy with Joseph? A matter of opinion of when you read it. No, no, what do you mean how I read it? Your history shows. that God has given us another book that we can go by. No, 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 let's What's wrong let's, with let's that? Why, on, why do you feel that let's we're wrong? wrong? Okay, why I'll shut up. You have to make a show about it. I do make a show about it because I was you f for 40 years and I understand how deluded you are. You see, you're sitting here defending something. You don't even know the doctrine. You think you do, and you're spouting that we just need to love like Jesus did. I show you that Jesus called people on the carpet for false doctrine, and now you're trying to back up saying there is nothing wrong in Mormonism. What is wrong with you? How could you say there is nothing wrong in Mormonism? Because I believe that there's nothing wrong with your religion. I believe there's nothing wrong with any religion. You're a fool. I believe that to err is human. It's human nature to make mistakes, and if there's anything that you've ever felt wrong about the LDS, it was probably something wrong that a person did. No, it's it nothing not wrong that a person did. Don't we believe it's wrong or how we live our lives is wrong. Listen, okay, you're regurgitating. Any other? No, let me ask you this. You are regurgitating. Any other TV shows where they bash listen, other religions? Listen, you're regurgitating what you've been no talking about. There's no TV shows where they bash a religion. I don't care about the entire TV shows or not. What, you know why? I'm not going to make this about me. The religion is the true church, and the adversary uh, is trying to make everyone disagree with it. Okay, let me ask you some questions then. A TV show dedicated to it. Is, there is a TV show dedicated to it. Let me ask and you. And there is no other religion, none. Let me ask. I don't care if anyone else does this, Jessica. You act like I care. That, like, that means I'm wrong. This uh, I'm not really saying it for okay, you. Just I'm listen to me for a second. You are so that they can open their eyes. Just, just listen to me for a second, please. Jesus came. He laid out his truths. And Mormonism is, it's not an opinion of mine. Every single Christian leader who reads the Bible will say, Mormon doctrine is not Christianity. I'm not making this up. What do they all see, Jessica? What do I see and our viewers see that you are not seeing? What are we missing? Well, it, it doesn't matter what other people say, because if you ask any LDS member, they are going to say they believe in Christ fully and that we are called the LDS saints, the Church of Jesus Okay, Christ. I know you're called that. The, uh, the devils believe, you see. Who was Jesus Christ then? Let's go to that. Who was he, Jessica? I love Jesus Christ, and I oh, have many. Do. Who was he, Jessica? My home. Jessica, who was Jesus Christ? He was the man who saved my soul from going to was hell. Was he created? Very imperfect, and was I have lived created? many different lives where I created? lived differently, and I have studied many religions. I don't care about your soul. Was him, he I was created? Was he a created being by Heavenly Father and his wives in heaven? I, I can't hear you when you yell. Was he created? Is Jesus a created being? Well, yes, every spirit is created, just the same as plants, animals. Every spirit is so created. So Jesus is a spirit that was created, okay? Right. Everything has been created by God. Everything is... Is a... Jesus God? What? Is Jesus God? No, they're two different beings. Okay. And... and did Jesus suffer on the cross for sin, or did he suffer someplace else? No, he suffered on the cross for our sins. Okay, that's not true in Mormon doctrine, but it's okay. Let me ask you, did, did Jesus, was he conceived of, uh, of the Holy Spirit, or was he conceived of a Heavenly Father? Well, it's, he was conceived from Heavenly Father because he made his spirit. Okay, Heavenly Father has a body of flesh and bone. How did Heavenly Father conceive Jesus in Mary, also of flesh and bone? It, I, I don't, 
It's not for my don't. human mind to understand that. No, when my don't. spirit is written out, wherever I am sent, I will understand it. written out. You see, here's the thing. Jessica, you say, you ask any Latter-day Saint, they say, we believe in Jesus Christ. But you believe in a Jesus Christ that is not described in the Bible. You believe in one who was created by intelligences and that he's your spirit brother. And he's my spirit brother. You believe a Jesus who was conceived by a father. Luke says he was conceived by the Holy Spirit overshadowing Mary. You believe in a Jesus who suffered for sins in the garden when the Bible actually speaks completely contrary to that. You believe in a Jesus who was not God. Every Christian on earth... Who, every You're getting Christ stuck on little technical words. Little technical? Holy Spirit. These are, how are these little technical? These are... This is, Holy Spirit and God. You Maybe have just... The many times it was translated from the many different languages. Oh, so you're going to attack the Bible now. You're going to attack the Bible now. See, this is the problem with Mormonism. You, see you have believed oh. one man's version, Jessica. You have believed one guy. He produced 97% of your doctrine. One man. Joseph, you believe him. It's and everything he says. Of our doctrine. We read the Bible and quote the Bible. You read the Bi it doesn't matter what you read and quote. The devil, Satan quotes the Bible too. You don't quote it in context. You are not quoting it in context. You do not know the Bible and you worship a false Jesus. You just showed our audience that. Now listen, my heart breaks for you because you are, I, I can hear your passion. I know you're angry at me. I know you angry think, at you. Okay, I know you're upset. You're a passionate person, but okay. I'm not angry at okay, you at all. You're not angry. Fine. It's wrong to be angry as a lot of whatever. Listen, Jessica, Jessica, why don't you do yourself one favor? One favor. Go to utlm.org. They use your writings to show you what you believe utlm.org and you read what your prophets and apostles have said not from me read what they have said do yourself a favor if i am wrong i will give you everything i've got which is not much but i'll give you everything house well, I car read. everything if i'm wrong because you're going to read on there I'm, Jessica. I'm not saying you're wrong can you listen no i can't listen because i've been in your shoes you are a universalist humanist Mormon. You think all roads lead, but Mormon is just one variation of good. You don't understand what Jesus did for you. And so I don't listen when I get into rhetorical discussions like this with people who don't know. I'm just asking you, go get armed first and then come back, okay? Please? If, if somebody has ever done anything wrong that has been in the church to err as human. I understand that. We're not looking for perfect people. They think right. they're perfect. What they is, what strive is your for, for, for perfection. I'm not striving for perfection. People have made mistakes. I'm I not blaming people. It's not religion. people. But when your prophets... What I follow, I follow Jesus. When your prophets speak, when your prophets speak, they're speaking for God, Jessica. When your prophets speak, they're speaking for God. You can't change the rules of Mormon if you're going to call and represent Mormonism. And you are. You're changing the rules. Your prophets and apostles speak for God and have. Go read what they have said, Jessica. I'm not changing any rules. For me to follow what everybody else says and say that I have to believe exactly what everyone else says and not feel, you know, divine intervention and divine spirit from heaven, well, that would make me a fool to believe what everyone tells me. Then you're not a Mormon. You shouldn't have a temple I am recommend. Mormon. You shouldn't have a temple recommend. You are calling and representing your version of Mormonism, you see? And that's easy to do. Oh no, anybody, you're anybody anybody can your call version of Mormonism. No, I'm not. I want I'm everyone else to believe it. I'm representing the doctrinal version of Mormonism, you see, and that's why you're upset. You think I'm 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 just making things up. Well, I'm giving you doctrine. I'm not upset. You're portraying Mormonism the way you want it. No, I'm portraying it according to its doctrine. I want doctrine. everyone to follow you. No, I don't want anyone to follow me. I am portraying, How does that make you any I am, different? I am portraying Mormonism's doctrine. You are portraying Mormonism in the way you want to see it. Do you see the difference? No, I don't. I know you don't. And we're going to end the call with that. 